Hello and welcome back. In our previous chapter, you have learnt basic commands of Swarm and Log. In this chapter, I will talk about Swarm feature called Auto Log. What is Swarm Auto Log and why it is necessary? Docker Swarm by default encrypts sensitive data such as raft logs and TLS communication between nodes. But the keys used for this encryption is stored in unencrypted form on local disk of Swarm Manager. Now, for security reason, this is absolutely necessary to protect those keys used for encryption of sensitive data. That's where autolog comes in. By default, autolog feature is turned off. When autolog feature is turned on, basically what it does is, it doesn't store those keys in unencrypted form, but it gives you a unlock key to unlock the swarm every time Docker restarts. Let's learn how to lock and unlock swarm. This is my swarm manager. Autolog is not enabled for this manager. You can turn on autolog feature on swarm at any time. Suppose if you want to turn on autolog feature while initializing the swarm, then you can use docker swarm init autolog equal to true. In my case, docker swarm is already set up without enabling autolog feature. So what I have to do is, I have to update my swarm with autolog feature. Let's update this swarm with autolog feature. This is the swarm unlock key. Please save this key outside of the docker cluster. If you don't have this key and your manager is locked, you have to rebuild your entire cluster again. Now, we have turned on autolog feature on our swarm. Let's see how swarm autolog feature works. If I list nodes, it just works fine. Let's restart the docker and see the behavior of swarm because autolog features triggers whenever we restart the docker. Docker restarted. Now execute docker node ls command. You can see my swarm manager is locked and it's asking for unlock key to unlock it. To unlock, execute command docker swarm unlock. Now it's asking for unlock key. I have saved my unlock key. I will provide that unlock key. Let's do docker node ls now. It just works fine. If your swarm manager is not locked, then you can regenerate the unlock key by executing docker swarm unlock key. Please note, this command works on manager node. So you need to have a manager which is unlocked. If you have not saved your unlock key and your managers are locked, then you have to rebuild your entire cluster. To rotate the key automatically, use command docker swarm unlock key dash dash rotate. I have got new unlock key. Don't delete your old unlock key immediately. Keep old key for a while because it will take little time to propagate the new unlock key. Finally, let's turn off auto lock. To turn off auto lock feature, set auto lock to false. To ensure auto lock feature is turned off, let's restart the docker and list the nodes. Docker restarted. Nodes are listed without providing unlock key. That means autolog feature is disabled. That's all for this chapter. Thank you. See you in the next chapter.